just a little bit of a little Hey! Oh, oh, oh no! What do you think you were doing here? Oh, you know, just doing a little thing here. Ah, uh, I, I get it. You're here for the for the let's talk about Dunderclump and things. Yes, 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 exactly. Well, that is great and all, but you no. shouldn't really revive those animals, you know, because they can. Boom. Exactly, they kind of, <coughs> kind of do kill you. <sighs> I need a body bag and a box for those damn animals. Better get started. <sighs> okay, now when we have that out of the way. Uh, Dunderklampen. It's a strange Swedish animated movie from 1974, and it's made by Parolin and Beppe Volger, who is also starring in it. And just let me say in the beginning, as a Swedish person, it's super weird to hear English dubs over Swedish movies. So weird. Simply warm fur coats they were. And yeah, it's not just animated; it's live action and animated. Mmm. Mmm. That king work makes my things look like a fucking blockbuster phenomenon. But yeah, here he is, Dunderklumpen, a troll that is now dead set on stealing a girl's toys. Sure. Oh, what a nice room this is. I think I take that, then that, then that. Mm, yes, yes. Good things, good things. And the story wouldn't be complete without a child on adventure. Meet Jens Volger, Beppe Volger's son. Uh, yeah, they have their own name in the movies. Uh, don't ask me about it, I have no idea. And here's Jens' goat. <coughs> what kind of toys did Dunny Clumpet steal then? So we have the rabbit, a dumb one. Yeah. A spoiled doll, a teddy bear, and a lion in big boxer shorts. Okay, it's not real Toy Story quality here, but hang with me, okay? So he packs the toys down and runs off. Jens noticing this and runs after. <coughs> and no chasing would be complete without some motherfucking harmonica. <laughs> I am Dunderklumpen. Oh yeah, there's songs in this movie too. Never did know why I was so lonesome. Ah, so he took the toys because he was lonely. Sounds legit. And he also took a treasure chest because of greed. Because a child had tons of gold in a chest on the floor? Ah, uh, we will get back to this, okay? The movie goes on, we get to the fantastic child acting here. <coughs> we get to this king. And here is the bad guy, finally. One eye, printing money and tricking Dunderclump and friends so he can steal the chest. Greed! And then we leave that for now to go back to Jens. <coughs> What the hell is Hippie Puppies doing in the middle of this film? Ah, having a weird conversation with Jens, apparently. Arm and your arm on your trousers and do not wash yourself. Can you whistle? So the harmonica starts again and there's a new chasey. <laughs> and a bird shows up and takes the chest and one eye and drops the chest down next to Donnerclump and then... It's like nothing happened! So they found a lonely house. And this doesn't amount to anything, so make it short. The, they start to dance in the house, one eye shows up, and then burns the house. After a while, they have the chest again. So, so is all of this just filler things? What? Just making sure, okay? And here is the giant Jorm. I am giant Jorm, and I like best to be here. What did he say? I like best to be here. You, you like to masturbate? Best to be Just to be here. Oh, because I thought you said masturbate. Mm. They all run up in the north of the One Eye. Jens meet up with his dad and then immediately part ways. And here is a new character that is important. Yeah, I'm serious. Her name is Elvira Fettigan and she's even on the cover, so I guess. Lion gets a new hat. One Eye takes Teddy hostage and sits up on a rock. Now it's time for Elvira to talk some sense with him. Because she knows him from before. But movie, 
We don't know her. You can't just throw in a new character in the end and let her solve the problem. That's on Twilight bullshit. Oh, ooh, it's just a fucking dream. I'm cool, so no, it's no, that's not right. God. So we're at the end. The chest is opened and reveals a stone, flower, and a feather. Because it was a child chest. Remember what I said before? Uh huh. Full circle. So that was Dunderclump, and in the end it was all about child's innocence and how greed corrupts. And I mean, what more do you want from a child movie? It's, it's good, but it's kind of boring now when I watch it. Uh, I didn't thought it was interesting when I was a child. I felt it was more interesting when I was older, more because of how it looked and how it felt. Now, when I watched it, it's slow. It's only one and a half hour, but it's still super slow. Okay, that is the end of the movie. So, and of course we have to end with the musical number. And we... Up to a storm over your arm. Joyous storm, joyous storm. A beautiful storm. Damn, thanks for watching. This was a lot of fun to make. I hope you liked it and like to like with the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to know when I post more. My next video is going to be more game related. Thanks again.